Welcome to the Tiffin Tour given on April 16, 2018. There's the Visitor Center and the Guard Shack. You don't go to the Guard Shack, you go to the Visitor Center to get in either to see your coach or to take the tour. This is Celia, one of our tour guides. The first place we go is over to the wood shop. It's very cold out so and windy, so we're walking across the parking lot. There's the Tiffin main office for the executives, including Bob Tiffin. And here we are now entering the wood shop. And it's very noisy in here. And there's Celia talking on headsets. And we are all wearing headsets so that we can hear her because it's very, very noisy inside. This is where they store the wood and get it all ready and unpacked and ready to be manufactured into the cabinets. Tiffin makes all of their own cabinets. They make them all right here in this wood shop. There goes Richard, our other tour guide. You saw his headset on. And we're going to now walk across the storage area and actually into the cabinet making facility. So there's some of the wood stored up against the wall. Those are the bigger pieces that they use. And now we are in the factory and you can see the wood on different carts being moved around. That wood is all being set up for different kinds of cabinets to be made for different kinds of coaches. This is a clamping machine where they glue the pieces of wood together to make a straight big board. This gentleman actually has these layers that flop over and he releases the clamps on them. As you see, he pushes them up and then he takes the, the piece of wood out. That was actually probably six or seven pieces of wood glued together. It takes him about 45 minutes to do that. There's another guy doing the same machine over there. Notice they're all wearing uh, jackets and things because it is cold in there. Here's a sanding machine over to the right that actually wood is coming out already sanded. They just put it in one end and it comes out the other end nice and smooth. And so we go further across here and you can see all these suction hoses up in the ceiling pulling air out. They, they take the sawdust out and that way the workers don't have to wear masks unless they want to. Now you can hear exactly how noisy it is here in the factory. Here's a lady assembling pieces for dashboards and over the overheads, the curved, curved wood she's working with. You can see she's got a couple pieces there on the floor already completed. I'm not sure what coach those go to, but this is a good example of the size of our tour group. We've got about 20 people in it, all of us are wearing headsets so we can hear what they say. There's some of the cutting tables. Again, those tables all have holes in them to draw the sawdust right out. There's where they put the vanities together. There's some sinks. And you can see we're right in there walking. Okay, here's some more equipment being used to assemble cabinets and paneling. You can see all the various woods. These are automated cutting machines where they can put the pieces, large pieces of wood in and it'll actually cut what they need right out of it. And while there's not a lot of robotics here, these computer-controlled machines are nice. Again, you can see some of the filters in the back drawing up the, the air with the sawdust in it. They had several of these computer-controlled machines, including a new one they were installing uh, in the back of the factory, which we'll see in just a moment. You can see some of the cuts that it's, these routers have made. There's a lady having to hand sand some pieces because they're too small to go through the machines. So there's great attention to detail. There's a new computer-controlled cutter there in the process of setting up. And that one I understand is not quite live yet. It's for the new production line that they're working on. So there's guys over, technicians over there. And there's the filtration system outside where all the sawdust gets sucked up. All the pieces of wood that are left over goes with the sawdust to a factory about 45 minutes away made into mulch. So here are the coaches that are completed, waited to be delivered. We're walking across now to the plant where they actually manufacture them. You can go in these coaches and take a look at them if you like. There's a whole bunch of them out there. So now we're going to go to the assembly process. There's a weld shop. We can't go in there, so we're walking in front of it. This is one of the gas chassis. All the welding's been done. You see all those rails and everything on it? Those were all put on by the welding shop. Unfortunately, we can't go in there to see it because it's a safety issue. Understand in the past you were able to do that, but you can see some of the railings in there. All that is hand welded on there. 
and, and then put in. So now we're going into the product, first part of the production, and there's actually four production lines running right now. So you'll see coaches all in various stages of completion. Uh, here's a whole line. You can see of them coming up and down. We're walking right now where they make the ceilings. These are the ceiling panels being readied for installation. Uh, they put wires in them. And then those silver things are actually uh, runners where they can put wires inside them. There's some side uh, pieces being made. There's some of the electrical items they've installed. There's a power transfer. And then these are the clamps they use to lift the floor. You'll see this gentleman's putting these clamps underneath. And then they raise this up and lift that whole piece. And that is a 40-foot piece of plywood, basically, that has only one seam in it. And they lift it right into place. And there's one laying down now that this gentleman's putting in the aqua hot flooring. And then they can lift that whole thing with suction if they need to. Uh, there's a ceiling piece that's being put together. And you can see these, these coaches are all, again, in various phases of production. There's nine different stations inside the plant on the assembly line for the actual component assembly, not counting the welding and the painting. There's another one of the overhead clamps that lifts things into place. This gentleman's getting a shower ready to go. You can see he's putting the parts in there. And the, there's a dashboard. And they have dashboard. Those are made by another Tiffin company not too far away. There's a, a roof being lowered to be worked on. They'll assemble everything and then lift it into place with these cranes. So, And as you can see, we're walking right amongst the, the workers here. Um, we, you know, we have to be careful what we walk over because there's all kinds of things laying around and tools and stuff. But um, these guys seem to really know what they're doing. And they are, they're making 13 of these a day. There's a washer-dryer unit. And over here to the right are some sides. These guys are getting ready to lift this side. And you can see this side right here. And um, in fact, as I walked by this this one guy here on the right behind this, the side, I just told him, well, said, well say hi to the folks. And he turns right around and smiles at you as we're going by. There's the smile. And so now we're we're getting out of their way so they can lift that into into position. And they'll anchor it. These are the overhead dashboard components, overhead cabinet uh, entries. Those will be all assembled here and then lifted into place. In fact, you'll see one up on a crane here right there. It's being lifted into position. Uh, Tiffin also has another factory of their own, uh, another sub-company that makes the fiberglass front and end and rear caps. These are made and then brought over and assembled and placed onto the units. You know, we weren't able to see them lifting those in place because our timing wasn't right. Again, they only do 13 of them a day, so you have to be there when they do them. This is where they're putting, getting ready to lift a roof into place. It's all cut out ahead of time and everything. And then they'll lift it in place and then and uh, put it right on top of the coach and anchor it down and then put every the, the uh, air conditioners antennas and the like on it so you can see them over on this particular coach i'm not sure what they're all connecting but as you'll see right here they already have power to these coaches and they're already testing things out there's a, a, a roof and you can see these guys are over here. They've already put the roof on this one, and they're just anchoring it down and make, sealing it. So these are where the sides are made, the, the different slides to go in the various coaches. Uh, they lift those into place either with a strap or by hand, depending on what they're making. And this is the wire assembly area where they actually make the wiring harness. There is over two miles of wiring in most of the RVs that Tiffin makes. And... Uh, we actually got ahead of our tour group a little bit here, so we had to skedaddle back to where they were over there on the right. And so you can see there's a picture of the assembly line at the various stations all the way down with coaches in various phases of production, depending on what they're doing. There's all the wiring. They call them crayons, but those are actually wires in there. They pull together, and they identify on the wire every few inches what the wire's for. And so there's actually machines over here back there that actually put those identification materials on them. There's a lady back there working on one of them. Um, but they actually identify every wire on a Tiffin coach. You know what it is. Over here is where they put the connectors on them. You can see them uh, assembling connectors on those presses there on the ends of the wire. 
and then we're going to walk over here and you can see the wiring harness is being assembled. They start at one end and they just start running wires every so many feet and every so many inches, whatever, where it has to go and how long it has to be. It's quite a, a maze of wires. Here are the completed 13 bins for today's coaches, or for tomorrow's coaches, rather. Our coaches in there somewhere. Here's the, the last step is after the come back from the paint shop to put the diamond shield on. This is actually put on with water and it's an adhesive glue and then you squeegee out any air bubbles. That's what this gentleman's doing. This is called the Yellow Brick Road outside the factory and it's where the coaches go when they're completed. And so hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Tiffin Factory.